CBS 47 Fox 30 Action News Jax begins with breaking news. The man accused of shooting and killing a local deputy has been caught. These are pictures of Patrick McDowell as he was taken into custody just after noon today. And you can see these photos. He has some injuries. We know one of them was from a canine used to help get him into those cuffs. McDowell had to be taken to UF Health Jacksonville for treatment. This is video of him arriving at the hospital and being wheeled in on a stretcher surrounded by law enforcement officers. Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper made the official announcement about 90 minutes after McDowell's arrest. He called out that he wanted to give himself up. He came out. He crawled like a baby, like the coward he is. Deputy Moyers. Those are the handcuffs that put in when he went to the hospital. There they are on the right hand side of your screen. Tonight, that five day manhunt is officially over. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. His capture unfolded right next to Callahan Intermediate School. The sheriff says McDowell was found inside of a bathroom at a ballpark just steps away. Here's a closer look at the ballpark grounds. This is right off River Road. Action News Jax's team coverage. We start with Action News Jax, Ben Becker, live at the command center. And Ben, you're told that after McDowell was placed in handcuffs, he apologized to at least one deputy. But Tanika, an apology is not going to bring back this deputy, but today the sheriff said that no matter everything that's happened while the suspect was found alive, he was better off dead. Patrick McDowell captured after a five-day manhunt following the shooting death of 29-year-old Nassau County Deputy Joshua Moyers during a traffic stop. We got our man. Sheriff Bill Leeper made the announcement Tuesday afternoon. Here are pictures of McDowell on the ground, surrounded by law enforcement. Leeper says they started getting leads overnight about where McDowell, a former Marine, could possibly be. Those leads turned out to be true. McDowell was hiding in a bathroom at a concession stand at Kirsten Hickenbotham Sports Complex off Ballpark Road in Callahan. He came out of the bathrooms, had him get down on the ground and crawl. He crawled like a baby, like the coward he is. Leeper says at least one other person has been arrested for trying to help McDowell, who was shot in the thigh and grazed in the head in a shootout with SWAT during the manhunt Friday night. McDowell was bitten by a police dog during his arrest on Tuesday and was taken to UF Health to be treated for his injuries. As for Leeper, he says he wanted the manhunt to end differently. I wish he would have gave us an opportunity to shoot him. He's going to pay for what he did. Now, back at 4 o'clock, I showed you this sign that says Nassau for Moyers. New at 5, a new sign to my left that says, thank you, law enforcement. That sums it up. Reporting live, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Checks. And Action News Jax told you yesterday when McDowell's father sent us a statement expressing his condolences to the Moyers family. We reached back out after McDowell's arrest, and today he provided us with this new statement saying, quote, I'm glad no one else got hurt. And I hope that it will help Deputy Moyer's family knowing he's not still at large. Several of our reporters and photographers watched the scene unfold. This is video our reporter Kristen Rary captured of squad cars speeding towards the scene this morning. She joins us now live. And Kristen, neighbors say it is nice to have an ending to all of this, a relief. Yeah, I've been out here since Friday when this first started going down. And through that time, you have felt so much emotion here in Callahan. First, it was people grieving the loss of Joshua Moyers. And then they were getting angry at Patrick McDowell. And now they're just grateful to law enforcement for bringing it to an end. I'm glad that they got him. I'm glad nobody else got hurt. Action News Jax was there as squad cars cleared out from Callahan Intermediate School and a line of cars celebrated their exit. One local student shocked and excited at the news. He was ca captured right down the street, right that's, here. That's why this road is blocked off. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Another neighbor relieved. It's relieving to hear that they finally got him. I mean, I hope he rots in prison to be honest. Austin Doherty says he is relieved not only that McDowell is captured, but that the deputies at the sheriff's office will finally get to take a breath. I know friends that work in the sheriff's department and they've been really upset, so it's relieving to me to see that they can finally have some justice too. People across Callahan are celebrating and hoping Joshua Moyer's family can see some justice come to light. He's caught. That's awesome. 
It's awesome. And coming up at 6, I spoke to another neighbor who says he's been on high alert for the last five days, and he's not alone. I'll have more on that next. Live in Callahan, Kristen Rary, Action News Jax. The community has a new way to pay tribute to Deputy Joshua Moyers. Action News Jax, Robert Grant joins us from the Nassau County Sheriff's Office. Robert, there's a memorial outside for the deputy. Tanika, Deputy Moyer's patrol car is here behind us just outside the department. You can see there a growing number of flowers on the hood and on the windshield, a picture of the 29-year-old deputy. Neighbors and deputies alike coming out to pay their respects, pay their tribute. It has been a tense five days for this community and especially those in Callahan. Many choosing not to go out after dark, fearing a suspect considered armed and dangerous was still in their community. To know that they finally got this guy off the street and we can, you know, sleep better at night and know that we don't have to keep our doors dead bolted with guns beside our bed makes me feel a little bit better. Amanda Woodard, you just heard from there. She is also Deputy Moyer's neighbor. Coming up at 6 o'clock, the word she uses to describe the hometown hero. Plus, we are just across the street from the Nassau County Jail. We are keeping our eye there for suspect Patrick McDowell. Right now, he's at UF Health with serious uh, injuries, but we'll be here through the rest of the night with more coming up at 6, 10, and 11. For now, live in Yuli, Robert Grant, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Many of you commented on our post today the moment that McDowell was caught. Let's pick just a few here. Let's start with Tammy. She says, so glad they found him before the funeral. Now maybe the officer's family can truly rest. God bless his parents and fiance. We have the Polk County Sheriff weighing in as well. Great work, everyone. And let's see. Shirley, job well done. Thank you all for your due diligence. If you have a message you'd like to send for the hard work done, chime in on Action News Jack's Facebook page under this post. And Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson joins us now in the studio to talk a little bit more about this case. And Dale, you have years of experience in law enforcement and law, including your work with the FBI. Now, Dale, the sheriff mentioned that they kept getting tips. They kept getting tips to help them to zero in on that location. Uh, and they were trying to make a move, trying to coordinate. So talk to me about what kind of training or effort goes into trying to find a suspect in a case like this. Well, of course, you've got to track him. And the police had the advantage of something that we did not, which was knowing that the suspect was wounded. So there's going to be a blood trail, and it means that he's not going to be able to run and do things at a distance. So that's a good thing. But the law enforcement there is to be credited for the, the determination, the constant pressure they put on him in order to finally make him surrender and that's pretty impressive frankly and that's they train for that type of thing absolutely they do but this is a very cautious thing to do because of course you don't know whether he's armed or not and well whether he will continue to resist so if you put your head around a corner and he sees you, he could kill you. So that's one of the concerns in doing this. Is why it has to be done so slowly, delicately, and thoroughly. And Dale, the sheriff also mentioned that there was at least one person that helped this suspect, possibly right. others. Let's talk about any charges those folks could face. Right. A accessory after the fact, although that sounds minor, aiding and abetting. Although, in a case like this, where it's a capital felony, individuals who have assisted him in avoiding arrest will be charged as a first degree felony and subject up to 30 years in custody. It's as serious as it gets. All right, Dale, thank you for that perspective. Now, last night we also watched as the community came together to honor Deputy Joshua Moyers. Here's some video from the procession that took him from the medical examiner's office in Jacksonville to the Oxley Heard Funeral Home in Fernandina Beach. You can see hundreds of people line the streets to pay their respects. Definitely be remembered as one of the best cops in Nassau. He had the biggest smile always. He was just like a light to everyone. Thin blue line flags and American flags stretched as far as the eye could see. And neighbors we spoke to say Moyers was a staple of Callahan. Here is more about Deputy Moyers. Before becoming a deputy, he was an explorer with the Nassau County Sheriff's Office from 2011 to 2013. He graduated from St. John's River State College where he received his training in law enforcement. In 2018, Deputy Moyers received an award for going above and beyond the call of duty on a drug case. 
His colleagues say he was known for his proactive police work, good attitude, and hard work. Funeral arrangements are now set for Deputy Moyers. The funeral is set for Saturday at noon at the Callahan First Baptist Church. Following the service, Deputy Moyers will be laid to rest at Oakwood Cemetery in Hilliard. Now, last night, we showed you these photos of JSO K-9 chaos. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office says the dog was shot by McDowell during the search on day one. Well, today we learned that when the dog was wounded, that's when the SWAT team fired back at McDowell and hit him. Chaos is expected to recover from his injuries. Action News Jax is first to alert you when McDowell was caught. We sent this alert to phones all across our area to get breaking news alerts just like this one. Download the Action News Jax app. You can find it for free for Apple and Android devices. And count on Action News Jax to bring you the latest on the story. We'll continue to update the case as soon as we learn more. And again, you can visit the Action News Jax app or our website for any updates.